Welcome to another book review, everybody. And today we got Dinosaurs Living Monsters of the Past, Michael Benton. No copyright intended, all artwork belonged to their owners. And look at that, I paid, I paid two bucks for that at the, at the thrift. Beautiful artwork at the front. Oh. Really, really beautiful artwork at the front. So let's have a look at this. It's a not a bad book. A lot of fossil pictures, unfortunately. And a lot of artwork from John Sibic. So this what this is uh, this edition is 1994. So an old book. We've got Michael Benton, he's done a few books. Um yeah, it's not a bad book, this one. So, I do like this picture here, which is the Carboniferous period. I really like these scenes. Let's see if I can get that a better shot. Really beautiful artwork. Like, the plant life looks so alien. And then you've got, like, the, that, the dragonfly and some early amphibian. What's the name of that dragonfly? Mega something? Mega Megadons? Oh, I can't remember its name. But you know what I'm talking about. The famous large dragonfly. So we've got the Triassic. Oh, a lot of pictures of bones. And the classic John Civic style. Black and white. So a bit of bone. There we go. Drink a cope. Some basic information. So this is mainly um, for, for you know young teenagers, I guess. Something I would have loved when I was would have been, you know, about twelve. This is a cool photo. Bone Wars right here. Marsh and his gang. They gotta make a movie of the Bone Wars. But, you know, when you look at this photo, you don't wanna bump into these guys while they're fossil hunting, you know. If, you know, if you try and compete with them, you know, you're asking for a bad time, they're all loaded up with bloody guns and knives and stuff. It'd be make a good movie between Drinker Cope and Charles Marsh. It's amazing the Bone Wars. If you if you never heard of it, just Google it. It's really amazing. So yeah, a lot of fossils. We got the famous the, the Apatosaurus, I think. John Sibig's artwork is always top notch. It's like classic 90s artwork. Got some stegosauruses here. And this is nice because you've got like the vintage stegosaurus. And this picture, that artwork has been in a few books. And unfortunately, the fossil is blocking half the artwork, but it, like, it continues on. Usually you just see the stegosaurus itself. So it's good to see, like, kind of good to see. But that actual painting or mural just continues on. So some beautiful artwork in these museums overseas. All I've got to see is through the books. There's another one here. Please let me know in the comments if you've seen these particular fossils in the museum. So we've got some petrosaurs. Early Cretaceous. If you love dino dinosaur bones, you'll love this book. Because most of it's bones. And classic civic. You know, this, these artworks, you've seen them in a million books. I've got like about four or five books of all the same artwork from him. But he's a, he's a, he's a legendary paleo artist. And let's have a look at this baby. This is a really nice piece of artwork. A 
I think this is in Canada. Is it Royal Terrell, I think? I'm not sure. I think it's in Canada though, because it is Canadian species. That's what I read was Albertosaurus, and you got like a Centrosaurus. Centro or? Yeah, Centrosaurus or Monoclonus something. As you can see, he's cannibalizing it. Like the head looks a bit funny to the body. So it's not obviously accurate, but it's a beautiful piece of artwork, like in the swamp and just. This Albertosaurus has taken this opportunity to get a free feed. Really nice. Therizinosaurus, I remember looking in the books, especially that Childcraft book on dinosaurs, all you saw was just the arms. It's a great story how they were eventually able to piece it together. But yeah, at all the fossils that they could have find, found first out of this amazing creature was its arms. Imagine that if, if it was its leg or tail, it wouldn't have had the same kind of impact. There we go, the famous Charles Knight there. That's in a few of my other books, there we go. There's that Albertosaurus and feasting as well. That, I just noticed that now. That's grouse. More fossils. Duckbills. Some horned dinosaurs, like Chasmosaurus. This is my favorite, Ceratopsian, Staracosaurus. Um, why did they die? Did they mention the meteorite here? One of, the one of the factors of this book may have been released before the meteorites. I'm not too sure. Anyway. Very nice book, quite simple. Look at that seven pounds. Seven is that pounds or yeah, I think that's pounds. So a nice book. Um, not much artwork in there apart from the, the standard ninety stuff from Civic. I do like the museum artworks. Uh, if you like. Um, Looking at fossils, there's plenty of great photographs in this. It's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a decent book. Um, not one of my favourites, but I do like um, the particular artwork at the front. It's good to have something apart from a T-Rex on the front of the cover. So, you know, I hope you all enjoyed this review and let me know in the comments if you um, own this one or read it back in the 90s yeah when I, I found this in the thrift not too long ago and yeah i never knew this one existed so it was a, it was a nice lucky find on the day all right i'll see you all next time